Lily is, she's a very, very lovable, lovable girl. Um, she smiles at everybody. She wants to hug people. She wants to acknowledge every person in the room. So she's just a very lovable um, and affectionate girl. Lily was actually born, she was full term, and um, we noticed right away some anomalies with her um, right away in the hospital. Um, the head NICU doctor came down and um, he said, you know, we need to we need to take her <laughs> into the NICU and run some, run some tests. And Lily was born with a deletion on the short arm of her ninth chromosome. Um, and what that basically means is she's missing um, a portion of genetic material. Um, a total of 64 genes are missing on her uh, ninth chromosome. But the syndrome is actually 9P minus syndrome. Then when COVID hit, everything shut down and Lily wasn't able to receive her private therapy anymore. And um, we, had, we had really nowhere to go for a while and uh, we're happy. We started physical therapy services, um, again, you know, with Easter Seals of DuPage and Fox Valley. I mean, they have um, really welcomed us in. They, we feel like they're family to us. Um, you know, I think the, the biggest life-changing thing for, for us is that they were able to take a very complicated kiddo like Lily into their home and basically address every every concern that they had with Lily and what they were gonna to do to help her, what they were gonna to do to continue to get her stronger, to continue to improve her gross motor skills um, so that Lily can continue to function. So they, it's just been amazing um, so far how the difference we've seen in Lily with you know not being in as much pain and um, to see her happy and eager to go to physical therapy. That's really the biggest step when you're doing physical therapy is how do you make it fun for the kids? How do you make it an enjoyable experience where they actually want to come, they want to work? Um, a kiddo like Lily is somebody who, you know, having to put her in physical therapy twice a week isn't always ideal. <laughs> you know, she's not one that, you know, always wants to work hard. Um, but when you get a great team of therapists who can kind of turn things around, um, it just makes a world of difference.